Welcome back to the Anime Culture Corner. One Piece Chapter 995 is here, and we resume the huge battle at Onigashima. We don't see Kaido or any of the retainers at all this chapter, but instead focus mainly on the crew. And it's not looking super hot for a lot of them. The chapter kicks off with Marco and Big Mom fighting, with Marco flexing on Prometheus by hurting him with his own flames that are just far superior. He's fighting Big Mom to keep her away from the main fight, claiming that he knows more than anyone how dangerous she can be, which is expected from Whitebeard's former First Division commander. And we see Parasparrow also on the scene getting his face remodeled by our two Sulon girls, Carrot and Wanda. I hope they get revenge for her boy Pedro. And we see Big Mom afterwards speed back to the main battle, claiming she doesn't have enough souls to fight Marco. Interesting. We'll see how her lack of souls plays out in the upcoming chapters when she has to fight someone else, but it could give the Straw Hats potentially better chances at fighting her than we saw during the whole cake arc. And the chase for Apu continues, with x Drake and Zoro chasing after the antibody for the virus. Can someone take this backstabbing wimp out already? And we see that Queen might even have more plotting in mind. Carrying Sanji and Zoro's bounties, she'll likely do more than just spread the virus in order to take these two out, specifically Sanji. She emphasizes her surprise in seeing that he's a Vinsmoke, specifically Judge's son, hinting that Queen vs Sanji is a fight that we'll likely see. I expected Sanji to take on King, but based on the way things are turning out from this chapter, it's likely that Queen will be his challenger in Wano. But to return to the virus, Chopper seems to be figuring something out. He's beginning to fulfill his role of doctor here on Wano. I'm still hoping that he finds a cure to the smiles as well, but we'll have to see how this plays out first. Also, important to note that Chopper has the virus now, meaning that in the hour or so left that he presumably has to live, aka the immediate upcoming chapters, he's gonna have to make a breakthrough in finding a way to cure the virus. And if he does it on his own, then we might not even need Apu anyway. And as the chapter closes out, we see Usopp and Nami struggling against Page 1 and Ulti. Just as Usopp has Ulti within his grasp, Page 1 breaks her free and Ulti absolutely crushes Usopp's skull. <sighs> When will my god Usopp get his time to shine? And after, we see yet another great Straw Hat Pirate moment, another scene to reaffirm the power of the crew and our faith in Luffy. Ulti promises Nami that she'll let her live if she admits that Luffy will never become the Pirate King. But, of course, that's just not true. And Nami knows it. Just as Ulti is about to kill Nami for claiming that Luffy will definitely become the Pirate King, Tama and Komachio arrive on the scene in Onigashima somehow to save Nami. How and why is Tama here? No clue. But it's an interesting turn of events for our crew. What'd you guys think of the chapter? I'm excited to see how Queen's interest in Sanji will play a role in the upcoming battles, and whether Usopp will be able to recover from the skull shot he just took. I'm also hoping Zora and X-Jake are able to take out Apu soon, though honestly, I feel like it'd be more fitting if Kid were the one to finish him off, considering their history. And as we close in on chapter 1000, One Piece gets more intense each panel we read, and I can't wait to see where this chapter of Wano will take us. As always, this has been the Anime Culture Corner, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future in-depth show, manga, and character analyses.